Hi, I'm Scott Platt, proud principal of Love Elementary School, and I am speaking on behalf of myself. Go Lions! When I first got to Love, um, in addition to the parents, I also had to earn trust with the teachers. That was a little bit easier, I found, simply because I had been a teacher for 20 years, and I was able to get into a classroom, you know, and teach, and I was able to use a lot of on-the-spot coaching. I think that was really instrumental. One of the things that on-the-spot coaching has helped me do is prove that I know actually how to teach, and I think a lot of times teachers are reticent to trust administrators whom they see as just being somebody who's gonna come in and tell them what to do, as opposed to somebody who doesn't actually mind getting in there with the students and doing the work. And I was able to prove myself that way, and that guarded me a lot of trust. Developing empathy, strangely, is something I thought I already excelled in. Turns out <laughs> I need a little work in empathy, which is great. I got some really good feedback just last week on a survey I put out and somebody said as, as leader, you know, people are going to come to you with quite personal events that happen in their lives because it's going to affect how they're going to work. And it would go a long way if you could show a little bit more empathy for things that are mm -hmm. happening in others' lives that you may not have experienced yourself. And I was really grateful for that because I didn't, I don't see myself as not being empathetic. So I'm, I'm really... Uh, happy that I have teachers who are willing to come forward and let me know where some of my shortcomings are so that I can address those needs and I can grow. There are two things that I'm focused on that are, you know, aside from direct instruction. Uh, number one is attendance. You know, we need to work on creating a culture where I can get more students to actually come to school. And also another um, push that I'm looking forward to uh, is working with the community itself and figuring out ways so that the people who are zoned to love will choose love, will choose HISD. And I think that that's really meaningful as well, because I don't think that people need to be bused to another school. I don't think they need to, you know, go out of pocket tremendously to choose private school. Well, there's an excellent choice right there, um, just down the street from their home.